If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, Tivim here, welcome back to another video, another player review, this time foot birthday, Lucas Hernandez, quite an expensive card this, uh, luckily enough I've uh, got an account where he's now untradeable, nice little pack from the foot birthday party bag, uh, he's worth between, massive price differences between Xbox and Playstation for most things, this included between 230 and 290,000 coins, that is a lot of, of a gap there. A lot of a gap. Does that make sense? Let's move on. So, 82 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. Absolutely terrible in front of goal. No point even mentioning that. Although, he does actually score a goal for me in this review. Was it forced? Kind of. It wasn't a penalty. It was from open play. It wasn't a cross or, or a header or anything. He does actually break into the penalty area and score. But, he actually, I, now that I think about it, he actually scored with his weak foot. And he's got a... Uh, Three-star weak foot as well, so even more impressive from him with 55 finishing. We'll look at that when we uh, when we get to the clips, of course. He's got 84 short passing. His vision is terrible. He can actually cross the ball, which is very surprising. 83 crossing. Was he a uh, a, a fullback at one point? Maybe does that that would explain things? I'm not sure. He's got um, 74 agility, 72 balance, so he doesn't. Like on paper, you wouldn't necessarily think, well, he's going to feel super agile, but he does have 90 reactions, and his pace would kind of suggest that he's not going to feel terrible on the ball or indeed off the ball. Ball control 84, composure 81, uh, very good defensive stats across the board, mid to high 80s, slide tackle in the low 90s at 91. I feel like a weatherman there. 89 jumping, 87 stamina, 82 strength, and 90 aggression. That is a, a very good recipe for a, a, a pretty damn good defender. I mean, I've just chucked a Guardian on him without really thinking about it. And the reason I did that is because he's got five-star skills, which is something I didn't actually realize until I had a look at the card in great detail. I thought they would have boosted the weak foot, but five-star skills centre-back again. Uh, I kind of feel like boosting that dribbling, ball control, agility is, is where I want to be. So... The reason for that, of course, is he's going to be better at doing the skills. Something that I noticed with uh, Saar, the um, the French centre-back, again, foot birthday with five-star skills, and even Pope and the likes of Amavi, they're good at... Well, not necessarily with Amavi, because Amavi's got decent ball control anyway, but those type of players don't have naturally good uh, agility or ball control dribbling and such, and the skills don't tend to feel that good, especially with Pope, for example, the, the, the Burnley goalkeeper, he feels absolutely dreadful while tr while trying to do five star skill moves or any skill move really, apart from the heel to heel flick, you know, the side to side heel flick. That is the only skill move he can do that feels relatively decent. Uh, with uh, with Hernandez, I, I wanted him to be able to run out from the back and, and do these skills. The team I've got him in is a pretty impressive squad. I may end up releasing some sort of squad builder on this in the, in the next couple of days. Of course, if you're watching this, you don't care about that now, but I might tweak it a little bit here or there. Uh, maybe get rid of Ben Yedder or something, but uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see. But I mean, I really do like that team. A couple of players off chem slightly, but it is a very very nice team. I think the left back might be a little bit outdated now at this point. Maybe look to improve that before I bring the squad to you. But uh, either way, let's move on into uh, into the clips. Now, some of the clips are going to be a little bit like who cares? Like that right there. That's just me showing you the five star skill. Uh, showing so that people who think I'm um, quote unquote faking reviews, just in case there are a few still people out there uh, who think that, then you can see that I'm clearly using the card because the other version of the card does not have five star skills, and that indeed was a five star skill move. You'll see more evidence of that as we go forward, though. And like I said, he does actually score a goal. Um, the the the, ne the negatives then should we talk about those because there aren't that many to speak of. In fact, there's only really one distinct negative and that is the high attacking work rate as a center back you don't want that do you let's be honest he, he bursts forward a lot like Sam doing the little one twos and he helps out an awful lot and it's not necessarily that he's that good at going forward that I wanted to um that's a five star skill move by the way uh not that I wanted to uh take him forward because he's that good but I thought I'm just gonna do like a little one two here or there if he gets into a position where I can actually play the ball to him maybe he can have a shot at goal uh, maybe you know do some sort of 
five star skill or skill in general and play through one of the strikers if that's possible. I mean, here he is again. He's he's managed to not score, granted, but he is doing certain skills, beating defenders, getting in round the back, and very nearly gets the the opportunity to play that ball into the likes of Mbappe. In terms of his defensive prowess, though, honestly, he is a solid defender. Keen holds off his man there, ball beats him, comes down to Hernandez. His jockey is super, super quick, and that is one of the things that I was not concerned about, but I was eager to try out. How is he in terms of the jockey and defending and his movement in general? And turns out he's very Kante-esque. Now, Kante is a lot shorter, so I'm not saying he's Kante-esque in the sense of, you know, he's, he's short and agile, but he does have an awful lot of mobility. He's got a, a great range of mobility, should we say. So when he's on the jockey, he feels very, very fast. When he's on the ball, he doesn't feel like a robot. And I was concerned that the agility and the balance weren't going to be high enough and he was going to feel a little bit stiff. Like Ogbonna, for example, he's the player or Hernandez is the player, rather, that uh, replaces Ogbonna in this team. Ogbonna, the flashback card, he now drops out of the squad completely and kind of almost rendered pointless, and uh, I did that for no reason. But still, uh, that was um, that, 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 that card really did lack the mobility. I mean, he's obviously tall as well, but he, he felt quite stiff. I mean, he's a good card. He is a very good card. He is almost end game but he um he did feel very stiff whereas hernandez he's six foot so he's got a bit of height to him he's got the strength he's got the the defensive capability and now he has the range of movement as well to be able to do quick drag backs to get himself out of danger little skill moves of course he's got the five star skills so a complete range of skills as well and like they just manages to track the attacker the entire way and then we get the ball forward i think that was the um the, the Future Stars uh, Icone maybe that he tackled. Either way, I think this is the goal coming up or close to the goal. So runs into the midfield area, gives a little one-two with Neymar, goes around the outside with Ben Yed, a little touch forward to Neymar. Okay, this isn't the goal. Wait, no, it is. It is the goal. Is it the goal? I don't know. It's coming up though. Uh, here is Mbappe on the ball and he gets in. This is Mbappe's goal actually. And then uh, the next, right, the next one is Hernandez's goal. So we managed to to take the ball there with Hernandez. We give it back to him. We give a little one-two here. He nearly loses it, but his strength holds true. Then he gives it to Neymar, back to Ben Yedda. Waits, waits, waits. There's Hernandez through the middle, and bang, with the weak foot, I might add, with 55 finishing into the back of the net. And that was a very good goal. And I was kind of doing that a lot. I was trying to get him to go forward, because with five-star skills, realistically, I just want to have a bit of fun. I wasn't necessarily expecting him to be the, the be-all and end-all of defenders and to replace anyone in the team, really. But turns out, yes, he is better than Ogbonna. So if you have Ogbonna and you can maybe fit Hernandez in your team instead and you are um in an R in between the two, Hernandez is better, in my honest opinion. Uh, but that aside, you can still have fun with him with the skills and the skills are very useful. They're not just there for the sake of having them like Pope. You can actually use them and pull them off. The, the beautiful thing about this card is the drag backs, the side-to-side -side heel flicks, and sometimes the ball roll flick as well, which is a five-star skill move, that can come in very, very handy. You don't always need them. Maybe once every few games you'll actually need to be able to do something like that, but it is nice to have. So in conclusion, shall we say, uh, the card is 100% a starting 11 card in foot champs and obviously rivals and squad battles and all the rest of it. But also, I would say that he's a meta card. Now, meta is going to be different for each position. So meta, as far as a striker or a cam is concerned, is going to be super fast, high agility, very good reactions, and maybe four-star skills and, and beyond. But for a centre-back to have five-star skills, this much pace, and with a chem style 84 agility, that, to me, makes him a meta centre-back. So there aren't many around, but Hernandez is definitely one of them. Saar... Uh, who was uh, another foot birthday card available as an SPC, he is what I would class as a meta centre-back as well. So they link together, which is quite nice as well. If you've got that uh, winter refresh Ariola, which I think is one of the best French goalkeepers you can get, or of course, if you've got an icon, you can link those two together uh, and have a, yourself a little triangle. But um, I definitely think he's worth the coins. Uh, the value for coins is a little bit lower than normal because depending on your plat platform, I've kind of had to sort of... Um, 
average that out a little bit, if you will. You know, like if you're buying him for the Xbox price of 230, yeah, not bad. If you're buying him for the PlayStation price of nearly 300k, then touch expensive. You know what I mean? It depends on your platform. But I do really like him. I think he's absolutely fantastic and definitely should be on your list of defenders, unless, of course, you have the likes of Maldini and so on and so forth at the back. If you have used him, let me know what you think of him. If you have enjoyed the review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.